earned except the gold. And now we determine who will be the gold medal winner of these championships. As we say farewell from Budapest tonight. Sevalainen, Tokyo Olympic qualifier, just missed out on a medal. He plays fifth, lost the bronze medal match. That would have been huge for Finland. Guy who has become an anchor for the Finnish team that looking to get more and more depth built over the next couple of years for Sevalainen to work with. Won the European qualifying tournament. He was a U23 World Championship gold medal winner. That was at 97 kilos back in 2019. Tournament start to end, I always think about my car keys. Do I know where they're at for when I get home? <laughs> get back to the parking garage at the airport. <laughs> it's funny you say that I have a secret compartment in my bag. It is like clockwork. When I check in to the airport, I go to a bench and I put my keys in that pocket and zip it. And that is a pocket that never gets touched. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not have a chance. That's yeah, interesting. You talk about everybody heading home, all these countries that brought representatives. A lot of these athletes have told you they're going to go back and just take a break a little bit, take a, a breath of fresh air, if you will, recharge the minds, recharge the bodies, let them heal before the stretch run mid to late spring into the summer and fall months. Yeah, that's what it's about, peaking at the right time. And you really peak, you look to peak towards the European Championships and the World Championships. And they put a lot of work into the first couple of months of the year to get to this point. And now they deserve a break. Just has to be such a humbling yet satisfying experience to walk away and hop on that plane tomorrow morning, the Budapest International Airport with a medal, knowing that you're coming back. And the great tradition that this continental championship has provided. The Europeans always fare well when you bring the entire world together, whether it's the world championships, whether it's the World Cup representation, or the highest pinnacle of the Olympic Games. This is exactly what I think fans of the sport expected from these two guys after three minutes. You knew this was going to be a tight one. Both have been extremely difficult to score on this week, and not just this week, but in other events throughout their careers. And it holds true after three, a one nothing lead. Good look at the 2018 World Championship runner-up from Bulgaria, Kirill Mielhoff. There is Savalainen. Not a lot of talking in the Finland corner as they just look to cool him off. Take care of business for the big guy. He struts back into the center. Bulgaria will greet him. Kirill Mielhoff. Second at the 2018 World Championship. So this town has treated him well. That's where the world were that year. He's had success in this city. And immediately right out of the gate, he shoots out of a cannon and gets the step out. Wow. I think Savalainen saw that one coming, tied at one. <laughs> Draped across the left arm. Mielhoff loves to lead with his Right shoulder in Greco-Roman wrestling. It's a shoulder lead. You know, he's here in freestyle. Well, what, what legs first, what legs out in front, the comfortable shot leg. It's all about the shouldering position. Footwork obviously still part of it, but certain wrestlers have certain sides that they're more comfortable with, with initiating contact. Savalainen jumps in on that front headlock, switches to a two-on-one. Mielhoff steers it clear. 
Pushes him away a stride. Referee says, let's call passive. Give Mielhoff a point. Chance to go parterre for the first time. That step out was massive. And he still would be leading on criteria had he not got that step out. But, oh. Pulled across the face with that left hand before going to the gut. Hands locked, low hips, looking to go on. He has it really low, and he will get the two. Mielhoff with a turn and a four to one lead, a satisfied look on his face. And now he's gonna put the pressure on Savalainen to come after him and get some offense. What a second period. Well, started with that step out. Off the whistle, came out ready to go. Savalainen trying to get to that inside circle, trying to get to an underhook. Miloff continues to control the center of the mat with the three-point lead. Approaching the one minute mark. Locks into the wrist of Savalainen. Now Savalainen with some pushing. Mielhoff slipped for a second. Quick recovery back up to his feet. A lot of pressure draped over the back and neck of Savaline and 30 seconds to go. Mielhoff wisely circles it back near the center. Felt that his heels were getting into the passivity zone, so what's he do? Get close to that protection area, you put the brakes on, dig in, get back into the center. The final medal of these European Championships will go to Bulgaria. Kirill Milhoff. And a European Championship at 97. Decorated career still in his prime. Mielhoff adds another.